Hello friends, welcome back to another episode by Engineering Today, and we're back with some interesting space updates. Today we'll share an update on the FAA's approval of Starbase's final PEA, followed by SpaceX appears to be on track to launch a trio of Falcon 9 rockets in as few as 36 hours, beginning with the last Starlink mission. Let's take a look at SpaceX's recent target of completing three Falcon launches in 36 hours. In the recent SpaceX Falcon launch schedule, they plan to launch three Falcon 9 missions in as few as 36 hours. The first launch of this trio was a Starlink mission, 419, which was carried out on the 17th of June. Then the Falcon constituted a first launch of a set of rideshare payloads and Germany's Sera 1 radar satellite, followed by another launch of Global Star 2 communication satellite and one or more secret military satellites atop of Falcon 9. In recent times, a Cargo Dragon launch has delayed from the 7th of June to the 11th of July. And in the meantime, SpaceX scheduled Starlink 419 launch. On the 17th of June at 12.09 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, SpaceX carried out the Starlink mission from NASA Kennedy Space Center LC-39A pad. The Falcon Booster B-1060, which supported this mission, also created a new reuse record. B-1060 successfully completed its 13th launch and landing, and this mission also marked the 100th reuse of Falcon since early 2017, as well as 50th consecutively successful Falcon Booster landing. Earlier, B-1060 has supported three commercial launches and nine Starlink launches. Starlink 419 mission delivered another batch of 53 Starlink V1.5 satellites to low Earth orbit. Then, with Starlink 419 completed, SpaceX paced up to launch a set of rideshare payloads and Germany's Sera 1 radar satellite at 10.19 a.m. this morning, June 18, Eastern Time from Vandenberg Space Force Base, VSFB, California. And as per schedule, less than a day after Sera 1 launch, SpaceX will go to Global Star 2 communication satellite and secret military satellites launch of the 19th of June at 12:27 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's CSS FSS LC 40 pad. Sources state that this intense 36 hour stretch will continue to be a very busy year for SpaceX. The company has already launched 24 missions in 2022, and 15 of them are dedicated Starlink flights. We'll wrap up with the FAA passing the Starbase Environmental Review, getting a step closer to Starship Orbital Launch Debut. Finally, the wait is over. After almost a year-long process for analysis of the Starbase Environmental Review, the approval has come, albeit with some mitigation in the SpaceX proposal. Last Monday, the Federal Aviation Administration finally gave an extremely favorable, mitigated finding of no significant impact for carrying out orbital Starship launches from the Texas Starbase. But while getting the approval, on one hand, SpaceX will have to make a significant number of environmental adjustments in order to conduct further Starship flight tests and begin operational launches from its facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Report says that SpaceX will need to carry out about 75 changes to their proposal for the Starbase facility to avoid additional review and ease the way for obtaining a license from the FAA to launch Starship into orbit from the Texas site. Back in 2012, SpaceX saw the Boca Chica site as a promising place for launching Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. Eventually, in 2014, a full environmental review of the site was done by the FAA, keeping Falcon launches in mind, 
and an environmental impact statement was published. But later, SpaceX changed their plans, and by 2018, Boca Chica became a hub of Starship development. Multiple research and tests were going on one side, and on the other hand, mild disruptions continued to happen in the nearby areas as highways were often closed during major tests. Also, local residents have to leave their houses during tests. Therefore, in 2020, the FAA planned to conduct an environmental review of SpaceX's plans to launch Starship to orbit from Starbase. And by 2021, the FAA released a draft programmatic environmental assessment. This PEA, which runs up to 183 pages, focuses on the potential consequences of SpaceX's Starbase complex and Starship launch program on everything near Starbase. The document had revealed SpaceX plans of conducting up to 20 suborbital launches of Starship and five suborbital or orbital launch full-fledged Starship in a year. They've also estimated that it would have to close access to the state highway a total of 500 hours each year for normal operations and an extra 300 hours each year for anomalies. Proposals for a natural gas pretreatment system have been given then. Later, the FAA had also held a comment period for SpaceX's proposed plans. The FAA also had to consult with various government agencies to make its decision. Report says that a final PEA of Starbase has been drawn out later and it was a bit simpler than what SpaceX initially requested in its September 2021 draft. In this final PEA, plans for building their dedicated natural gas power plant, desalination plant, natural gas refinery and liquefaction factories at or near the launch site were cancelled. Also, the two-phase annual Starship launch plan was changed to a single operational phase that allows up to five suborbital and five orbital Starship launches per year. The final PEA also includes permission for up to 500 hours of highway closures for nominal operations and up to 300 hours of closures for emergency anomaly response per year, almost similar to draft of 2021. And it's a good sign that the FAA had ultimately approved this final PEA. SpaceX sees this recent environmental approval in a very positive note. They stated, one step closer to the first orbital flight test of Starship. As per reports, FAA had decided not to carry out another environmental impact statement on Starbase as it will delay the approval process much further. And they released two main documents on Monday. One of them is a summary of the environmental assessment and the second one is the detailed description of the actions that SpaceX must undertake and now for the mitigations, the FAA wants SpaceX to continue to monitor for changes to the local wildlife populations, such as the sea turtles that reside in the area. SpaceX will have to comply with a launch site lighting management plan to ensure that sea turtles have to face no disruptions. And also with a qualified biologist, they have to conduct lighting evaluations during the turtles' life cycles. SpaceX will also have to initiate coordination with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service US FWS, to lessen impacts on protected bird species, also taking the piping plover into account. As per FAA, they've called for SpaceX to make donations to local wildlife groups. The company will also make annual contributions of $5,000 each to organizations that protect and preserve ocelots and endangered birds of prey. The FAA also issued a new rules for closures of the public highway that passes by SpaceX's facility, such as requiring the road to be open on 18 specified holidays and most weekends. Other than these, SpaceX will have to construct at least one highway wildlife crossing and have to build a wildlife viewing platform along Highway 4. While Starship preparations are going on in Starbase, SpaceX has also been working on a potential Plan B for Starship. By the end of 2021, they've already started construction of a Starship launch pad in Cape Canaveral, Florida. And along with their progression, the number of Starship orbital launches would increase over time, with suborbital flights gradually decreasing. As per latest statement from SpaceX CEO, 
The company will get ready to take off its first orbital flight in July. Founder and CEO Elon Musk has said, Starship will be ready to fly next month, Musk said on Twitter. I was in the high bay and mega bay late last night reviewing progress. We have a second Starship stack ready to fly in August and then monthly thereafter, Musk said. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.